reporter Erica Waco. She is live in Miami now with reaction out of the consulate of Belgium. Erica. Right, so there are thousands of people from Belgium who live in Florida, 2,600 of them who are registered. And here in South Florida, the group is very tight knit. They're all part of a club together. They constantly keep in touch. This afternoon, they are just shocked. Manuel Molina lives in Miami. He's here representing Belgium, his job appointed by the King of Belgium and Foreign Minister. I could not believe that that, that happens in my country. <laughs> The surprise came in the way of dozens of wake-up texts and emails that alerted him to what was happening back home. I'm trying to reassure him. I mean, it's all the person who are, I think, people who are going now to Belgium, uh, people who are expecting people in uh, Belgium or having foreign citizens who are coming from, from Brussels. Molina was expecting his own visitors tomorrow, his children. They're safe, thankful for that, but their trip here now in jeopardy. I'm guessing that there were probably, I think it's a lot of families also leaving today or, or this week for for as well, for everywhere no? for Easter yeah you for know. Easter yeah Molina already had a visitor in Miami from Rome he was supposed to fly back yesterday with a layover in Brussels landing right at the time the explosions happened this morning life is a destiny that maybe if they will not cancel my flight today I will be there and uh, and so it's incredible lesson. News that everyone they know is okay, but the desire for peace, security, and certainty is what Belgians everywhere are now longing for. The motto of Belgium is uh, Union fait la force, meaning that uh, uh, together we are much more uh, uh, strong. And um, and I think it's now, as I think more than ever, I think we should uh, follow that. And we also have the Belgium Club of Florida down here. I just got off the phone with the president. He says in South Florida, there are about 300 families from there living here. He says in his words, this is unheard of in a little peaceful country like Belgium. They're working to all get together in camaraderie and in prayer for their home country. We're live in Miami, Erica Rayco, Local 10 News. And Erica, that's a significant presence here in our community. Are, are they going to be able to get together tonight for any kind of vigil? Well, not tonight. He says it's really hard to keep track of people because a lot of them come here on work visas. They go back. So they're all in constant communication through email, through Facebook. And he said, you know, getting together to pray for one another and for our families and family members and friends back home would be a great idea. It's something they're hoping to do in the next couple of days, just not tonight. All right. Erica Rayko, thank you.